And that breaking news out of Hollywood where a massive water main break flooded a neighborhood and caused the roof on one home to collapse. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson. Colleen is off. You can see the water is turned off for now, but firefighters and police are there just starting to assess the damage. NBC4's Robert Kavasik just arrived on scene for us. Robert. Carolyn, and when it comes to the damage, honestly, where do you want to begin? But let's show you right now, because we're going to take a walk right now with Adam, Adam Kanabi. But as we walk to show you the aftermath, let's show you how this whole thing started. Adam, we are talking about a geyser that literally erupted here, a water main break in Hollywood, Beachwood and Fountain, and sent that geyser about 70 feet in the air, we understand. Yes, sir. And as we continue to walk here and you look at the geyser, let's go, Adam, take us as close as you can. Okay. okay. Well, just, just be on this line here. Okay. But right be on this line because, Carolyn, coming back here live, this is why we can't get any closer. We have a sinkhole forming right now on Fountain. Across the street, you have a house that has been red tagged. Adam, take us through. Start with the house and the woman that had to be evacuated and is right now seeking shelter. Yeah, so at uh, approximately 21:30 hours, uh, the fire department responded to a report of a flooding. Upon arrival, the first aid engine company, uh, they discovered a uh, what was starting to form a sinkhole with a water main break in the middle of the street. Um, <clears throat> as they uh, were able to get out of the sinkhole, we, they were notified that there was a woman trapped inside the single-family dwelling just adjacent to the uh, water main break. Water so, falling on top of that house. Yes, sir. Water fell on top of the roof of the house, uh, subsequently causing the roof to collapse and trapping the woman inside. Uh, that engine company heroically entered the house. Uh, they went through the uh, roof collapse and were able to pull her out of the house um, prior to her being injured at all. A woman and her dog, roughly about 40 years of age, right now is going to spend the night in a hotel. The house is red tagged. As far as you know, no other homes are damaged, correct? Correct. There was no other impact to any other structures. Okay. Now let's get to this, Carolyn. Fountain Avenue, a major thoroughfare for people cutting through Hollywood and this entire area. They can go take Fountain almost all the way downtown. Adam, you look at this sinkhole that is only right now growing, and you mentioned we are talking about the only, correct me if I'm wrong, the only electric fire engine in the entire nation that went almost inside of the sinkhole. What happened? So as they were driving, they felt the ground rumble beneath them. Um, they felt a sudden drop of the fire engine, um, at which time they were evaluating the scene. They felt a second drop and realized at that time what was going on. Luckily, the fire electric fire engine is an all-wheel drive fire engine, so the front wheels being still grounded was able to pull the engine out of the hole um, and with little to moderate damage to the rear end of the engine. And I understand uh, from your battalion chief that as that electric fire engine was pulling out of the hole, they looked in the rear view mirrors behind them, and all of a sudden they saw that 70-foot guy. Yes, sir, exactly. So, Adam, right now, clean up. We're going to have to... Only the one house evacuated as a potential that others could be as well due to the fact that the sinkhole is growing and the proximity of homes around. So currently the situation is static. DWP has successfully shut off all of the water. Uh, so what you see right here is hopefully as bad as it is going to get. Um, now we'll return the scene over to DWP completely and they will work on the cleanup and repair. All right. Captain Adam Kanabi with LAFD, thank you very much, and thank you for the quick response. You see right now across the street, that's that's one of our NBC photographers, Eddie Calderon, Carolyn, getting close to that house. The, the, again, the woman has been evacuated with her dog, spending the night in a hotel. House is completely red tagged. The roof has partially collapsed. Our assignment desk watching this whole thing unfold was telling me that when they opened the door to the house to go inside and rescue her, water came rushing out. That is how much water was dumped on that house here in Hollywood. And you can see just the amount of damage, probably another aging LADWP water main created when it broke this evening. And on top of all of this, they almost lost the only electric fire engine in the entire nation. But it managed to get out just in time. We're live tonight here in Hollywood. I'm Robert Kavasik. Carolyn, the cleanup begins and hopefully the sinkhole doesn't grow. Yeah, indeed, Robert, just incredible images there.